Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the new custom poser tool in Wildlife. So to get started, you'll want to enter edit mode, tab if you don't know, and let's just add a pose that exists already. So you'll see there's a new custom tab here. Let's just click this and you'll see some options here. Now the only button that we are able to press is the custom button. This will convert the current pose into um, a custom pose. So let me demonstrate if we just put her into a pose, let's say this, and then click on this button, you will see she remains where she was, but you can see all of these new controls that were added. Now a lot just happened, but I'll go over everything in detail, don't worry. But uh, before we do that, um, if you want to go back to the original poser settings, you just click onto default and she will go back to the animation that has been set here. Um, if you want to go back into the custom poser, you have two options now. Either existing custom, which will just snap her back to the controls that were created already. Or if we say go into this pose and then click on the custom again, it will reposition all of the controls to the current pose. Now let me go into a pose that's easier to work with. I usually use the neutral pose. Let's just go into that and reposition the control elements. Okay, this is a nice blank slate to work with. Okay, but let's go over what actually happened over here. In the outline you can see a lot of elements have been created. These are all of these rings and balls that you can see, which can be used to control certain parts of Maya's body. For example, if I take her left foot, let me just go into global mode, uh, and if I move it now, you can see her foot moves along with this control and uh, the knee adjusts accordingly, uh, but more on that later. Let's have a look at the options that have appeared. Um, the first one you can see is the finger controls. They are quite self-explanatory. You can click on the finger you want to pose. Let's take the middle finger. We have a few options. Base curl is um, where it rotates around this um, bone. Base sway, that's just uh, sideways motion. Then we have a master finger curl, which uh, changes all of these simultaneously. You'll see all of the um, joints of the finger move at the same time. But you can also move them individually if you want to. You can do that per finger. And there's also a... Um, palm control, which um, controls the entire hand, like for example the master curl has all of the fingers at the same time. Um, do be careful though because this um, does override the individual settings for the finger and also states it here. Then there's also a master twist, which is just how um, the hand is twisted. Cup is, well, for a cupping motion of the hand. And spread, let me just put these back. Spread can be used to spread the fingers apart a bit. And then, of course, you can go into finer control, look at all of these fingers individually again and change them however you need them. Toes can also be manipulated, but they just have a single curl slider per foot. Now, to understand this option, which I can't show on YouTube, we need to have a look at uh, certain body parts that make use of guide points. This, these are the guide points for the tail, for example. Uh, let me just give Maya a costume that has a tail. For example, this one. Uh, now, they won't work out of the box because um, the tail has physics and physics and posing controls together don't mix well. So it's uh, either you use the pose controls or it's physics. So let's disable tail physics. And now you can see if I take the tail guide point that it will try to go through all of the rings. And if it's too short, it'll just stop. Basically, what enable penis stretch does is it forces it to be as long as the last ring so it'll go all the way it might look weird because well the penis is stretched but uh, it's there if you need it the last part of the custom options are the body controls this is what defines what prop controls what body part if you uh, look here torso control is linked to full, to uh, full torso pose control, which is this object. So it's uh, by name. Um, you can just change these things. So let's, uh, for example, take the um, left foot and let's just add a cube, make it a bit smaller so that it's not in the way. Put it over here. And now let's say 
um, Maya, your, where is it? Left ankle control is a cube now. As you can see, it snapped to the cube. It might be a weird rotation, but now the cube is what um, controls the foot. Now let's go over what we actually have control wise. I recommend turning off interaction on Maya because it makes it easier to select the controls that way. Um, so let's start down here again. Um, if I move it, as you saw, the knee moves accordingly. Um, and you use these pole vectors to define which direction the knee faces. This is the same with the um, arm controls. So if I move this, her arm will move, her elbow will too. And this can be used to change which direction the elbow faces. Every character has a full torso control, which as the name implies, contains entire torso. Um, if I move this, you can see everything except the arms and feet moves which can be quite useful if uh, you want her to grab onto something, for example. They will just remain where they are and the entire torso can move. And then there's a few elements down her spine that can be used to fine-tune her um, position. Uh, and yeah, you can just play around with these. It should be quite self-explanatory. The last few elements up here are, um, first of all, two clavicle bones, which can be used to make her shrug. And then there's a neck base, a neck, and a head control. There are also certain hairstyles that can be posed. This one can. Um, and it works the same way as the tail did that I showed before. The last two relevant controls for Maya are the ones on her butt. Um, these also don't work out of the box because uh, they control something that has physics again. So we need to go into uh, Maya go into Bowser and disable the butt physics and then you can see we can move her butt around. And that was basically it for the controls that you can use but there have been a few other changes for the poser that I'll want to go over. Um, let me just go out of the custom poser because it has nothing to do with the customs but it can be combined. Um, let me just uh, delete all of these and put her back into well no let's actually put it back into idle so so let's head to the face section of the poser you can see there's a new button called split upper lower which splits her face into upper and lower settings um, if we go into the angry pose and say uh, i don't know eyes closed you can see her lower part of the face still remains in angry but her upper face is now eyes closed. So you have a lot more freedom to um, change the expression of her face now. The next thing that has been added is an eye offset. If uh, we look at her eyes and change this, you can see I'm moving her eyes with this. This also has a split option, so you can make her look really derpy if you want to. <laughs> but let's uh, make her look normal again. A similar looking option has been added for the breast too. It'll also tell you that you need to turn off breast physics for this. Uh, so let's do that and uh, if I move this around you can see I'm moving her breasts up down left right and this is uh, gravity so forwards backwards depending on if she is um, facing down or up and this can also be split into separate controls again and the last two newly added options are vaginal and anal spread which well you can probably um, imagine what they do I can't show it on YouTube again and yeah, that was basically all of the options that have been added. I will um, go over a few advanced um, tricks that you can use with the new poser still. Uh, for example, um, if I go back into the custom, um, these do have a specific order, which makes it easier to work with, but you can just completely change it if you want to. If uh, you would like them all to just be completely separate from each other, you can. Now, anything that you change, um, let me just select this, uh, isn't affecting anything else. Also the um, full, po uh, full torso control doesn't do anything because nothing is parented in it. Um, so this enables you to do a lot of things. For example, make your own rig if you prefer it to be uh, a forward kinematic rig, which is basically if you um, 
parent all of the spine bones and head bones underneath each other so you can rotate the first one then the second one the third one to make her curl up so if if you require this instead of um, the default options you can make it and since all of the controls are props in the outliner you can use them to basically animate your character so for example let's um, add a sign movement wave or prop sorry um, and let's tell it to move along the x-axis so that would be here say 50 centimeters uh, and attach the hand uh, into it now if we go out of edit mode you can see that hand is moving on the x-axis looks a bit weird but you can move any limb using events as well and one last small thing um yes salivarius can also be posed i hope i could give some good insights on how the new system works uh, and happy posing <laughs>